Hi Gemini, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of November 16th through the 22nd. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. I would like to say welcome to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. Also, if you could like the video, share the video, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, what does the sign of Gemini have coming up for this week? November 16th through the 22nd. The Four of Wands, very nice. Four of Wands. So you could be celebrating something, Gemini. Okay, we have the Four of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant, we have the Moon, we have the Page of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the overall energy is the Ten of Swords. Okay. Well, some of you could be celebrating. Uh, it could be the end of a, a marriage, the end of a relationship. Not all, but for some of you. Let's see. I'm going to pull the next card here. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely the ending. of a relationship we have the lovers card now your energy just came up very strongly um in the aquarius read gemini so there could be an aquarius gemini connection they also had the hierophant in their spread as well some of you dealing with a taurus this could be a three-party scenario um that's not going to be the case for all of you but for some of you very well could be and it could be that if you were the third party gemini or if you had a third party that could be what's ending with the lovers a choice a decision is needed and this can be a decision to get into a relationship. This can be a decision to leave a relationship. It can also be choosing between two people. And so I, I am reading for some Geminis where there is a love triangle. Or if not a love triangle, it's, it's a situation involving three people. For those of you that are experiencing a loss, it could be a loss of, it could be a, a business, um, business deal, investment, it could be a loss of a job, uh, or uh, it could even be like a client, a relationship with a, a client. But if I keep going, I have the lovers, I have the five of wands, I have the five of cups. So we have a couple of fives. So you're definitely uh, going through some, some challenging times at the moment. Change is coming in. Change is coming in. It might not feel like it's, it's happening overnight, that's for sure. You definitely have to be strong here at this time. And there could have been, yeah, for some of you, this is the third party. This is an outside influence that caused a relationship to end, or this is someone cheating and that caused, a, you know, a relationship to end. For those of you where it's, it's something with business, it can be, you know, people butting heads, a clashing of energies, people not being on the same page. Also, there could have been a lot of um, petty behavior, like jealousy, people competing.
fighting over insignificant things for those of you where a relationship is over maybe it's a, it's a bunch of small things that added up over time could be that you were in a relationship with a fire sign we have the king of wands here also, uh, some of you are dealing with a, a king of wands who has a lot of regrets. This person possibly is very heartbroken. They have massive regrets. And so I'm trying to think of what other sign. There was another sign that had a very similar message. I want to say it was Aries, but I could be wrong. I believe it was a fire sign. And so you might be dealing with an Aries, but this person has a lot of regrets. They might feel extremely guilty for their behavior. So if they cheated, they're definitely, um, they're definitely regretting that decision. That's for sure. They might not be sleeping too well at this time. If you are a male Gemini, I see you taking a break. I see you recouping. Uh, it could be from a loss, but it also could be with this combination. I am reading for some Geminis, and you would be aware of this. I am reading for some Geminis where you're possibly having surgery, or if not you, it could be a loved one. It could be someone close to you. Someone is having uh, surgery. It could be heart surgery. That won't be the case for all of you. You might feel betrayed, Gemini. You definitely might feel betrayed. Some of you moving on, walking away from a marriage or a relationship could also be that business partnership. Could be a job as well. Mirroring the Four of Wands, we do have the Hierophant. So for some of you, this is a marriage. So you either feel betrayed or it's possible that somebody feels betrayed by you as well. There might have been some sort of deception that led up to this. Deception, betrayal. We have the moon, we have the page of swords. Now, with this combination, this is this is false information. So just be aware. So you know, if you ended uh, some sort of agreement or arrangement or a relationship if you ended a relationship or if there was a fight because of maybe something you heard here at the bottom of the deck we have this five of wands which can be someone someone or could even be multiple people it could be the third party an outside influence so if you heard something, most likely it was false information. This was, uh, for some of you, it was a lie. With the moon and the, the page of swords. Also, um, I see someone watching someone. So you could be watching them or you might have been watching them at night. If you were in a relationship and you had suspicions about your partner, if you had your suspicions as far as them 
exploring um, outside of the relationship. You might have did some spying, some investigating. If your partner was emotionally distant with you, that could be another reason why. Maybe you decided to, to watch someone. With the moon energy present, Gemini, and this is a major arcana. It's not the seven of cups. It's the moon. And so this is things not being how they appear to be. You might have heard something and got the wrong impression. It might have been BS. Uh, also, you might have seen something because we have a, a little bit of the spying energy here. And so you might have seen something. You could have even seen something at night. You might have thought that you've seen something in particular, but you actually, you don't have all the information um, or you only seen a, a small portion of something. This is things not appearing how they really are. This is that illusion. You're not seeing something clearly. And I don't think you will fully see everything clearly this week because we have the moon energy present. So it could take the next four weeks, two to four weeks, that's what I'm seeing here, for things to completely come to light. And so you don't have all the information. Also, there are some unknowns. I mean, things could be going on behind the scenes. There's some unknowns. So if you just broke up with someone, or if you feel betrayed, you don't have all of the information. So just know that things will come to light. You know, what is done in the dark always comes to light. So what is hidden always comes to light. You, you will find more out about this in the near future. So needing to stay positive, balance those emotions. If this was the loss of a job, you might need to, you know, play with your money here. You might need to move some money around. This is somebody not seeing things clearly. This is someone not seeing things clearly. And you might be a Gemini who has Taurus in your chart. We have very strong Taurian energy here. We have the Hierophant and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you might be a Cusper. If you're a female, you just might have very, very strong beliefs more traditional than anything else, especially when it comes to family, marriage, business affairs, very, very conservative, very, very traditional beliefs. If a relationship is not ending, this could be you just simply separating from your partner. There could be emotional distance between you. If you're not getting a divorce, you might feel completely betrayed by your partner, but maybe you're not seeing things clearly. That's really what I'm getting. And so you might feel completely betrayed and heartbroken and you need to heal. Some of you need to spend time with your loved ones, your children if you have children, friends, family, those that you consider family, but they might not really be family, but they really are. They're your tribe. Spend time with those that, you know, make you happy. They can help take your mind off of this. If you were waiting on some sort of um, contract to be signed or some sort of like business deal to take place, it might not work out. 
some of you could be taking it extremely hard if, if, if some sort of plans that you made fell through, uh, a business contract, a business deal, could be something with real estate for some of you. But honestly, this could be a blessing in disguise. Because you don't have all the information just yet. All right, so I am pulling you an Angel Answers Oracle card. So if you have a particular question in mind, Gemini, if you don't, you can pause the, the video and think of one if you'd like. Let's see. Gemini for the week of November 16th through the 22nd. Yeah, someone could be having surgery. Someone could be having surgery. But oh, I was just going to say if that's you or if that's someone close to you, most likely that would be a family member. Also pulling you a Power of Love Oracle card. This is for Gemini. All right, so very interesting because we have unlikely. So you might have been fearing the worst. The moon can represent that fear. You fearing the worst. Thinking something, thinking one thing, but that's not the case because we have this, this moon energy here. If you believe, so this is telling you to have faith, to stay positive. You need to believe. And then we also have gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So be grateful for all those experiences, positive, negative. You learn something. This experience here, which yes, it absolutely can be a painful one, but there's still a lesson. And I think that spirit is asking you to be grateful for what still remains your loved ones for some of you you have a really good job you have a really good job so be grateful for what remains and i think that some of you are not seeing something clearly so just be patient um, focus on healing go with the flow here at this time and also remain open-minded, okay? All right, Gemini, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. All right, guys, stay safe and have a blessed week.